Hi, my name is Julene Rodriguez. Most people just call me Julie. I have had a number of jobs over the years that have used DOS or Windows-based programs, and I have decided to go into coding. I like that it combines my problem-solving love with my creativity. Savvy Coders was the program I landed on. I have just finished their full stack web developer boot camp. And this is a partial list of some of the things we used in the boot camp. We used Agile from day one. Agile helped us with sprint planning. We did two week sprints. We did daily standups. We did retrospectives. We had a scrum master, we had a product owner, and it taught us planning and problem solving, but it also built a wonderful team. The capstone I decided on is one that helps pet owners with a dilemma. You see, a lot of people started working out at home during COVID, and a lot of people adopted puppies during COVID. But those puppies have started to grow. And if you've ever tried to do a plank with a dog licking your face, or if you've ever tried to do a push-up with a dog laying on your back and the dog is large, you know it's a little difficult. So I wanted to come up with something that would help people who wanted to work out find a location for their dogs to socialize while they were at the gym. So this is going to be a program I call the Fit Family. The story map helped me put a name and a face to my audience. I developed who I thought would be most likely to use the app and how they would want to use it. I did a SWOT analysis to list the pros and cons of the app. This is something that will relieve a lot of stress for dog owners. It's something that is definitely a growth opportunity for both gyms and doggy daycares. There are some limitations to it. There's not going to be a gym nearby where you want to work out. There's not always going to be a doggy daycare near the gym you want to use. Once I decided on what I wanted to do, I then created a flowchart that would map out exactly how the program would work. All of these steps have an out at the end because there is a place for you to contact us if you don't find what you're looking for. I then mapped out this, well, okay, I did map out the story as well down here. And I did wireframes of what each page should ideally look like. Most of the pages are pretty much the same, but I did put together, in general, what the pages would look like. This helped me get a feel for what work I needed to do, when, and how. I also wanted to include pictures of dogs. So for the beginning dog, I have the infamous what do you mean you're not going to take me look? Every dog owner knows this look. It's designed to instill guilt and it's very effective. And for both of these, I put pictures of my own dogs that I have owned over the years. This is one of, oh goody, we're going somewhere. And I took the photos off my phone. I emailed them to myself so I could open them on my laptop. I took a screenshot so I could crop them 
and then I saved them. I believe it was a JPEG file, but we'll see shortly. This entire process started out as HTML. We then went and attached a cascading style sheet to make it look pretty. And once we had that, we moved it into a single page application. That code is here. This is my single page application code. You can see we used VS code for it. It was very nice in that we used a git bash terminal Originally, we rendered this on a local server so that we could see what we were working with. And then once we got the local server down, we then saved our code to GitHub. Every time we needed to save code, we would go to a JIRA board, which is also where we put our various things that we needed help with. But we had a JIRA board like this that we submitted our homework on. We put in tickets for problems we were having, blockers. And then everything went up to GitHub. We worked on a development um, branch and once our development branch was working, we would then transfer it to the master branch. This is the final product. It is tested on Insomnia. It has the title, it has the guidance, and when you do the mobile app, you will see that it shrinks. The nav bar, when you click on it, does load. On the desktop app, this is how it looks. We have the very lonely dog. We have directions on how to use the product. We also included a, I also included, a, an H, an AT, I'm sorry. I included an API to open weather map. I did this because too often the skies have been beautiful when I leave and I take my dog somewhere and while we are there the sky opens up and we get a torrential rain and I have the dubious honor of riding in a small car with a very wet dog with the entire ride home. This way you know if you need a jacket, you know if the dog needs a jacket, you know if you need an umbrella, you're prepared. There is also a way to contact us here. Uh, currently, this just sends you over to Google. I don't have anything it goes to yet. The directions are also the company's mission statement. Uh, what we want to do is we want to enable people, I want to enable people, to work out at a gym without the guilt or worry involved in leaving the dog home alone. So to do this, we're going to begin by clicking on neighborhoods. Now, the boot camp was only 12 weeks long. And full disclosure, I had done zero coding before that. So everything was, I learned as I go. And I only had 12 weeks to put this together. I found a wonderful neighborhood city map. I limited my area at this point to the city. I figured if you're new to the city and looking for a place to work out, you probably don't know exactly what neighborhood you're in yet. 
So this kind of gives you a feel for where all the neighborhoods are located and what they're called. For the sake of simplicity, I picked the Central West End. That brings you to the gym page. The gym page then has a drop down telling you which gyms are in the Central West End. Now, in the Central West End, let's say you decide to go to Pure Bar and you have daycares for your fur baby. We have three different options in that area. We have their addresses so that you know where they are in relation to your gym and how to get there. You can always pop that into your GPS navigator. And we have the websites. It's always nice to be able to check out a place before you take your dog there. Now, as for how that relates to the code, oh, the um, that's not all we have. I do apologize. We do also have a conduct contact page. That page has the happy doggy because <laughs> he's going somewhere. And if you fill in your information on that page and you type in what it is you want to tell us, uh, let's say you forgot Dutchtown South and you submit it. It goes to Farm Spray, who immediately emails me that I have another notice. This is another API. This is the API that the information goes to. Now, going back to the code, we have a few different views here. We have the view for each page. This is the code for Farm Spray. This is, now this was supposed to be an API and it broke at the last minute. So how I overcame that was I hard coded it for now. It will be an API again in the future. Just have to do a little debugging. I think we all know how that goes. This is the drop down for the gyms. This is the home page with the API for open weather. This is the index.js that puts together each of my pages. Here we have the neighborhood dropdown that I will be adding to eventually. And then, of course, we have the footer, header, more index.js, the main telling it how to put everything together, and my navigation bar. We also have the photos that were put in here. I do apologize. One's a JPEG, one's a PNG. Uh, we have server information for APIs. We have .env for APIs. We have the store for all of our different views. We have a redirect page. We have the index.js that makes it all pretty and makes it all work. And then of course the style CSS that makes all the pretty shapes and colors on it. Going forward, I am hoping that this page will eventually, see if it'll go back home for me, yeah. Uh, this page will eventually encompass many different neighborhoods throughout the metropolitan area. Long term, I am hoping to, once I change this to include more areas, I'm hoping to replace the drop downs with interactive maps. But that is the FIT family. That is my capstone for my um, Savvy Coders Full Stack Web Development Bootcamp. 
that was made with many different programs and using GitHub, Gitbash. Um, we had Insomnia, we had Netlify, which is what you just saw it on, and it is permanently housed in render for the back end. Um, the data pulls from MongoDB. The language for the middleware speaking to the back end is Mongoose. The language for the JS code speaking to the middleware is Node.js. We also covered Markdown and we did several different exercises involving CSS and HTML. So hopefully you like my presentation and I hope to see you soon on my app. Thank you for listening.